Hello there guys, it's Idiotic Biotic here, bringing you a brand new series. This is, although it doesn't say on the screen, um, this is Apocalypse. Uh, the PS1 game, <laughs> highly underrated, absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, yeah, this is uh, made by Neversoft, I believe, before they started making the Tony Hawk's games. And published by Activision when they were less evil. And starring Bruce Willis for some unknown reason. Uh, this is a third person shoot 'em up game. Could be considered uh, one of the first twin stick shooters. Uh, before controllers actually had two sticks. Uh, this came out in 1998. Uh, it's one of my favourite games of all time. So uh, we're going to start a new game. Um, also, just just like you know, if you see the uh, flashing green bar at the bottom, uh, it's because I'm playing it off my original copy of this game, which uh, I acquired in 1998 when it came out. So, FMC FMV sequences may or may not work. As you can hear, it's like a no, it's my plan. From the dead. Okay, this is very entertaining with the uh, jerky movements. Uh, the the freeze is not the video, by the way. It's my game. Here we Here go. We go. Right, so basically the object of the game is to destroy everything. As Bruce Willis. As you can see, the uh, character model is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, this game, this game did come out in 1998, so it really does have a pretty good excuse. But uh, I, I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, bear in mind that uh, this game, uh, like I say, is my original copy of the game. I've owned this game since, like I say, 1998. It's a long ass time to own a game. I completely understand that. And every so often, I do like to jump into this game and. It. Um, I always get stuck on a boss, which uh, you will probably see during this playthrough. Um, as far as I can remember, it's not a particularly long game, but uh, some of the levels are proper long. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, the. the oh, I hate that. Okay, so uh, you do get several weapons, a ton of weapons on this game. Um, ooh, there's explosions. More explosions. The fire looks oddly real as well. It looks better than most games' fire now does look, I think. I don't even know what I was going to say there. Yeah, so this is this is very much the object of the game. It's absolutely fantastic. I recommend this for anyone wanting to play a particularly underrated um, PS1 game that you may or may not have missed. Don't know. It, uh, when I remember when this came out, it got absolutely terrible uh, ratings in the reviews. Uh, the highest I ever saw it was like 60, which was. To a kid of eight years old, pretty bad. Considering I grew up on like uh, Crash Bandicoot, Tekken 3, Tekken 2, uh, Tomb Raider, even though I didn't really play it. Um, and they were all um, considered sort of 90% uh, plus games. So I remember uh, the ma all the magazines I used to buy uh, used to rate everything on out of 100%. Um, oh, by the way, don't go in the uh, spotlights, otherwise they'll shoot your ass up. Um, and uh, so to see a game with like 60 on it was dreadful. Like, it's unfathomable. <laughs> Speaking of unfathomable, I actually just died on the first level. Ah, uh, no one ever does that on this game. Luckily, the uh, checkpoints are actually quite reasonable, which is good. Uh, yeah, so, um, just a little bit of thing. I am playing this on my PC with an Xbox controller, which is completely 
completely unheard of. Playing a PlayStation 1 game with an Xbox controller. Um, just so that, uh, that sound effect is completely overused on PS1 games. It, I, like, it sounds like a Wilhelm scream, but it's not really. Hard to believe that this was made by the same people who did Tony Hawk's. That was pretty funny. Um, so, lasers, checkpoint. Basically, yeah, what you gotta do. Uh, really jump over the, uh, the lasers. And then this asshole comes oh, out. Decides to uh, ruin your pie. Although, the whole objective of this game is to kill everything that fights its way through. So, why don't I do that? I'm gonna kill everything. It, it, like, literally, like. It, this game, um, each level has like two objectives. One is to finish the damn thing, and two is to literally destroy everything in your way. And uh, you actually do get a percentage rating at the end to say uh, how much stuff you actually killed. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to 100% everything. Although, this game is very difficult, I will say. Um, especially when you get past uh, sort of the move. second main boss, that's when shit it tends to hit the fan, and most people die on this one. But everything is better when you got homing missiles. That's the thing. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Right. As you can see, homing missiles, barrels of fun. Names for like the nearest enemy, I believe. I'm not sure. Bear in mind, this is PS1 and uh, effects of stuff. Very, very basic. Very basic. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, th I thought this would be a very fun playthrough, to be honest. Um, Let's like say I love the game. I know most of it off by heart. Although, uh, this may be the first time I ever completed without cheats, by the way. Um, that's my that's my aim anyway. I I've, I've never beaten this without cheats. I always just cheat to get um, unlimited ammo on all your weapons. Yeah, as you can hear, the uh, sound files a little bit messed up on the screens. So, there's no lag, which is cool. That's the main thing, like, uh, and the sound effects of the guns and uh, all the in-game stuff is absolutely fine, but uh, it's just those little movie things. Okay, so up here, uh, the reason I've gone up here, one, to kill everything, and two, there's an extra life, which uh, you will probably spend trying to get the damn thing, but uh, anyway. Okay, switch to heavy missiles. Oh, 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 I got hit. What's good is most of the bullets in this game as well, you can quite easily dodge. Because when they dissipate, or dissipate, whatever the bloody word is, um, and the other thing is uh, they're like Doom style projectiles, so uh, they're quite easy to, uh, to dodge. But yeah, we got the extra life. I'm probably going to die jumping down here, but we'll see. No, I didn't. Yes, I've <laughs> I've done that like twice ever. <laughs> so, yes, achievement. This game had achievements. That would be one of them. Uh, right, jump and uh, shoot more things. I always find the uh, machine gun to be the best weapon on this game. Um, considering you get like. Home missiles, you get rockets, you get uh, this thing called the pulse laser, which is like a really, really strong machine gun. I always find the machine gun the best. I have no idea why. I think it's because all the weapons in this game don't uh, like um, raise up to um, sort of higher level enemies. Like uh, by higher level, I mean uh, sort of literally higher level, um, like the platforms. Um, not many weapons do that. Rip laser does because it homes for like the uh, 
the enemy you're pointing at, basically. Uh, the machine gun kind of does that, and uh, it's pretty good as a result. But like stuff like, uh, I don't know, rockets, uh, other stuff. Um, they don't really Drop one on. it's time to jam. go for higher level enemies unless you jump like that. Home missiles do, obviously, because they uh, have to. I don't have to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, machine gun. Machine gun's the best. Nearly dead. And I'm nearly dead. Bring it on, baby! I need to hide from these projectiles now. I feel like. Uh, no, that's not working now. Um, if I hide there. Do that. Oh, let's go up here. <laughs> it's blue. A more so we're nearly on the uh, first boss, I believe. Or sub boss, you could call it sub boss, because there's four main bosses in this game. Uh, obviously, Death Plague, War, and Beast, the apocalypse. Uh, Death being first, Plague being second, War being third. Hardest F boss ever, by the way. And Beast, which is the second hardest boss ever. Oh, I've got a lot of home missiles. <laughs> As you see in the corner, the uh, sort of uh, little UI thingy sort of uh, tells you, you your, your health and stuff. That's it. Literally the I'm only bit of UI in this game. Um, right, so we've got health pickup. Ooh, that's, that's 50. So uh, we're going for the life, which we don't get. But uh, that's fine. We have got five. Hey, I'm not getting paid enough to do this crap. So he, he's not getting paid enough to do this crap. I'm sure Bruce Willis was paid enough to do this game. I'm, I'm sorry, Bruce Willis. I'm sure he said this is no Armageddon. <laughs> oh, I didn't get money for this. Right, so uh, this is the error for the first boss, which hasn't actually appeared yet. Lock and load normally does by now. <laughs> there we go, there's the tank. Which you can easily just blow up with the pulse laser. Yeah, the pulse laser very very strong but it does uh, run out pretty quickly. If you waste any then you're screwed. Uh, we have got we have got a full rip laser so let's use that. Rip laser kind of sucks against big enemies like the tank it's, uh, I get burnt. <laughs> Oh, rockets, rockets, rockets. I always love the sound of the rockets on this game as well. The sound is so badass. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, fine. I'm dying. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. That, is entertainment. that was entertainment. Uh, hopefully that was entertainment. <laughs> but uh, that was the first level. And now we go onto this weird bike thing. Uh, what's the percentage? 97? Ah, oh, pain. Oh well, save game. There we go. File 2, don't want to save over my actual save file. And there we go, level 1.